Hey, welcome back to another Axe Family video. We have a special guest today. This is Farmer Derek. And some of you have probably seen his videos, but you not, might not have been to his channel. Uh, it's Farmer Derek Klingenberg. And why, why don't you just tell me a little bit about your channel. There's probably some people who might have seen your videos, but don't realize that this is the guy behind the magic, so. Well, the video that everybody's seen is uh, I go out on the prairie with my trombone and I start playing and all the cattle come in and so most people have seen that every time we're on an airplane my wife asked the person next to them have you seen that video and they're like yes <laughs> and then I also do a lot of different parodies like what does a farmer say yeah is the most popular and then I do a lot of weird stuff and weirder stuff and it's a lot of fun yeah so I saw uh, a recent video where you slept overnight in a hammock on top of a pivot. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, that was worth it. You really? <laughs> yeah. I don't, it was a little wet and cold, you know, but uh, it was just kind of fun. Yeah, it looked really cool. And then there was another video where you, uh, you, you, you basically harvested uh, enough of the field to make it look like a play button. Well, yeah, no, I grew corn and soybeans. Oh, okay. So, so the borders around it is corn and the triangles corn and then like the button is beans okay yeah, yeah. i thought you just had you know made windrows and then uh -uh, yeah. yeah so another question i have for you is in the video where what does the farmer say there's a really short clip that stood out to me more than the rest of the whole <laughs> yeah. video and it's where you're laying in the grain yeah and you pop up tell yeah. me like that's only a couple seconds of the video but tell me the background behind filming okay. that shot okay so like i don't know a few months before that i was like okay i'm gonna lay in a bunk grant my brother you put feet over me and i'm and i had an air hose and a mask and i'm <laughs> gonna see how long i can survive right uh -huh. and so we filmed it you speed it up and you just watch him eat it and there's this body you know and it was the it was the worst thing you'd ever seen in your life <laughs> and my friends are like no okay yeah. so you didn't it was even, weird you didn't no because it, it looked like there's a dead body in the bunk <laughs> and then i'm doing what does the farmer say i'm like i should just pop out of it and so yeah. so i laid there and he went over and then yeah can you see he's feeding right in front of me uh, it's pretty quick so I'll, i know I just, yeah i just so right after you went pie me, then I just shot up and I, I lip sank it. You yeah. Know? And that's an example of a bad idea turned into a really good idea. Yeah. How long ago, like, did you start YouTube? Maybe give me a glimpse of like your YouTube experience and how it got to where it's at today. Well, we first started a group called the Possum Boys a while ago when I was out of college. My brothers and I and some others, and then we disbanded and I had written some songs. Uh, funny farm songs and so I was really upset that we disbanded so I went and bought a video camera and then I realized there's software to edit it so you know when I was a kid I was just hitting record stop on the VHS yeah that was terrible and so I started making music videos of the songs that I had written and I spent like a whole year doing bumblebees in the hay and possum in the barn and then I released oh I didn't even know about YouTube or anything okay so I didn't have internet so I went and uploaded it on my brother's computer right next door. And then nobody watched it. And then all of a sudden people started watching it because his wife shared it on Facebook. Well, I don't know what Facebook is. I don't know what sharing is. So, you know, I'm trying to learn all this. And it was popular locally. Mm -hmm. And my brother got a lot of attention because he's the bumblebee and he does not want attention. So I'm loving this. <laughs> and, and I started doing job, that was 09, January 109, okay. I think. And then I started getting hiring. People were hiring me to make videos. I always wanted to be in a commercial, so I put myself in at the end. And then after that, I was like, I don't like working for people because, you know, sometimes they say no to an idea. And you, yeah. just, you just can't say no. I, I wrote a song called Daddy D, and I put that up. And then all winter, I just started cranking them out, trying mm -hmm. to learn what I need to put out. But then I came up with, what does a farmer say eventually? Yeah. My other question for you is, like, tell me, something weird that's happened related to your channel or um, just a story that maybe you want to share with my audience. Well, I have plenty of weird things that have happened. Um, one of them was um, America's Got Talent called me and wanted me to do the uh, 90 second audition on stage in LA 
where I play my trombone and call the cows in. Really? Yeah. And he thought he could get some California cows. <laughs> they could get some and we could try it. I'm like, are you sure? I was like, maybe you better think about this and call me back tomorrow. And so he didn't call me back. <laughs> That's awesome. So after the cow trombone, I didn't have time for anything. Um, I, I learned that the richest countries in the world are Japan, Germany, and U.S. because they were the most amazed by the video because I believe they're the most removed from agriculture. Huh. And so, but it worked out with the time change. So I'd start interviews at like 5 in the morning. I would hit up like Japan, Europe, and then in the evenings I was talking to L.A. producers at night because I got all these reality TV show ideas, which I yeah. turned down. It was overwhelming, though, because, like, at one point I gave my phone to my wife. I said, I'm done. Just, just, you can just email back the, if they're national news, world news, or whatever. Yes. Yeah. It was insane. Huh. A lot of your videos are related to farming and with cows. Is there anything else in your life that, you know, your audience doesn't see in your videos that you like to do or you enjoy? Well, I do a lot of bow hunting. I actually don't do as much anymore, but I've always liked filming them. So I film a lot of deer and stuff. I've showed a few things in my videos. Like I built this awesome deer stand designed for filming out of, and it's mm -hmm. great for my girls to come hang out. Yeah. Drink chocolate milk. I, I ran into this guy overwintering in February, and I finally got a really good video of him. And then he walks behind a tree and comes out with one antler. <laughs> And he's just like this, and then, and then I go and grab the antler, and then we couldn't find it for two years, and then we had a snowstorm, and the ditch matted down the grass, and the neighbor girl found it. Huh. And I went on a honeymoon with my wife, come back, and he 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 took my antler, he snuck in here and grabbed it, and then he mounted it for me on a on a just an antler mount. Yeah. And gave it to me, and then a few years ago we put it on a on deer yeah it's Man, cool it's, it's about 200 inches wow all right so if you haven't checked out uh, Derek's channel I'm gonna leave a link down in the description down below and give him a subscribe push that subscribe button all the way in and if you're new to our channel uh, my wife and I were traveling uh, all around the country visiting friends and family and other youtubers like Derek and so push that subscribe button in if you haven't done so already click the thumb war button down below and we'll see you in the next video. Hats off to you.